Hi you guys, so I am back today with another video and sadly I had this video all planned out for you guys and I completely lost all of the footage. It was going to be me creating a denim jacket based on what my Twitter followers chose for me and I literally had everything filmed, everything planned out and it literally just got deleted. I don't know where it went to, I can't find it. I was really about to just upload the video and it just disappeared and I am normally pretty good with techie stuff, but I don't know what happened. I'm so frustrated, but I figured instead I'll, you know, choose the healthier option. And I decided that, you know, I'll share with you my denim jackets that I've created in the past, including the one that I made for the video that vanished. So, and can I tell you the story about them and my thought process behind each of them? So, if you're interested in watching that, then stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, so the very first jacket that I created was for a rep tour, and I went to rep tour in Columbus, and it was my first time ever seeing Taylor live, so you can imagine how excited I was to go, and I had heard all the stories, and I knew that dressing up and creating something was extremely important if you wanted to get noticed, and if you wanted to have a chance to meet Taylor, so I kind of already had an idea of what I wanted to do, but... The more I realized, the more I kind of noticed that other people were kind of doing the same thing that I wanted to do, and I just really wanted to make sure that I stood out. My original plan was to do tulle skirts, and I was going to do a red, white, and blue one for American Queen, and then my mom is from Australia, so we were going to do Australian Queen, so her and I were going to go together. And I wanted something that kind of related to each other since she was going to be coming with me, and I figured having two kind of outfits would kind of be a little more out there and be a little more noticeable so that was kind of my original idea but after being on Twitter for a while and kind of seeing what everyone else was doing I realized that a few other people had already done that and that's when I came up with painting a denim jacket and I'm super in love with this one it's gonna be my little baby because it's my first one I made and basically I went through a few ideas of what I wanted to do with this um, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to put on the back or what the overall theme of it was going to be until I found the jacket itself, but I went thrifting and I found this little grayish colored oversized denim jacket, which I love so much. It fits me so well and it looks so great for tour, and I kind of just decided to personalize it and make it my own. So as you can see that the back says something bad on it which is from the I did something bad that was my dog this totally scared me um anyway <laughs> open this one out go on Oh my gosh, I feel like I keep on getting interrupted and I keep on stumbling over my words. Anyway, trying to remember where I left off. But, so I decided on something bad for the jacket because I feel like that kind of fit the theme of the tour and it was just kind of something simple but not exactly in your face or anything and that's what I went with. Mm -hmm. And I kind of just did everything at once. I feel like I'm the type of person that when I have an idea or I have a project that I want to do, I want to get it all done in one night and I want to do everything at once. I don't want to stop and, you know, take breaks or anything. I want to do everything at once, which is kind of how this went. But a lot of the more detailed part of it went into the front and that's why I wanted to have a lot of the kind of Easter eggs, I guess you would call them nowadays, especially since Taylor coined the term, not coined it, but she made it a big thing. And I can just kind of show you sitting here the details. So I found these little pins at Hobby Lobby, um, T and S, because I thought, you know, Taylor Swift, you need to have a T and an S. Plus, it was in her Look What You Made Me Do video. It was like the opening thing, it said TS, and I was like, perfect, that's what I want on there. And obviously, I needed a 13 incorporated into my jacket somehow, 
somewhere, I just knew I needed the 13. And so I kind of decided to do it kind of camouflage over here. It, you can barely see it, but it does say 13. And camo was kind of been like the theme for her lately. And I was like, okay, I want camo on there too. I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I found like a little transfer sheet and I used that and I just cut out a 13 and put it on my jacket. And while we were there at Hobby Lobby getting all my supplies, I kept finding different things that I knew that would be perfect for my jacket and that I really wanted on my jacket. And one of those was this little crown for King of My Heart and I just love it so much. I, it's definitely one of my favorite songs so I knew I had to incorporate that there somehow. And if I can stand up a little bit, I did put like a little heart here. So then you know it's like above it so King of My Heart, get it, yeah. And then lower I've got a little kissy face for red lips because you know it's iconic. But that's basically the gist of it. It was actually super easy to paint. I used acrylic paint for the back, so I can't really wash this necessarily, but I don't really see myself wearing this out in public or doing anything crazy in it. So, and that's kind of what I did for the rest of my jackets was use acrylic paint. But for people who might want to order mine or something, I'll go out of my way and get fabric paint so it's a little more secure on the jacket and it's not going to do anything crazy for them and it's like machine washable is like safe to wash in the washing machine or something else but yeah so that's my first jacket and i love it so 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 much <laughs> Here is my second jacket and I like to call this my lover jacket because it's very lover inspired even though it's kind of more me inspired her single but I kind of like to call it my lover jacket only because I've got I think it's over here let me let me get up a little bit but it says lover across here and I honestly love how this jacket turned out so much and I know I said that about my last one but I just love the colors on this one because I feel like this fits my personality a bit more than the last jacket and I don't know why but it just does and I haven't really worn this out anywhere yet and I don't know where I'm going to wear it but I just knew I needed to make another jacket for this era and I couldn't wait for the actual album to come out yet so that's how we ended up with this jacket and as you can see it says Jeff Suey Calm on the back which is French for I am calm which you know is the iconic term that she said during her me music video and I just loved it and I knew it was such a I keep on saying the word iconic but it was just such a large part of her coming back and everything and it actually like meant so much more because you know you need calm down came out and I just thought that was kind of cool because it wasn't really in your face and it didn't say like me on the back or anything and so that's kind of what I went with and I kind of wanted to do like the play around with the fonts a little bit and the colors and I wanted to include that kind of pink glittery color and I also wanted to include some of the colors from the scenes of the music video which is why the back has um, I think you know it's the same colors as these so it's got like a coral it's got more of a pink it's like a corally pink and I've got the blue and then this is actually like a lighter pink and um, a yellow which kind of matches that one scene where they've all got like the briefcases and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about but that's kind of like the color order I did and this one doesn't have as much detail on it because I kind of didn't want to go too overboard with it and I just kind of wanted to keep most of the focus on the back but I did think that the front of it did need a little something so I just kind of took elements from the back and moved them to the front so as you can see like these colors kind of match with this idea and Lover obviously matches the color and the font style on the back as well. And I don't really know how I kind of, I kind of just kind of threw everything onto this jacket. I knew what I wanted to do and I made a few sketches just to make sure that my lettering would look okay and what order the colors would look best on the jacket because I didn't want anything to clash or anything. And that's pretty much how I came up with this. I love this jacket i cannot wait to wear it somewhere and i just need the opportunity to wear it but i'll figure it out i'm sure and so yeah i just hope you guys like this little jacket because it's definitely one of my favorites <laughs> I 
I've currently got on the jacket that I had originally wanted to film a video on how I made it and the process behind it, which I just finished last night, so it really wasn't that long ago that I had completed this. And so what I had done was I had gone on Twitter and I had asked different polls and I had kind of set them up in a way where I would do each of them in like increments so like each one were like 15 minutes long so not a lot of people could vote on them but I kind of wanted everything done and like I said I like doing everything at once so I was getting kind of impatient and I was like I'm just going to do 15 minutes I won't do any longer I won't do any shorter 15 minutes sounds like a good time and so I kind of asked them what kind of quote or lyric would they like to see on the back of my jacket and I think I said, long live, you need to calm down, I've been the archer, I've been the prey, and nothing safe is worth the drive. And I would have been so happy with any of those, but they ended up choosing long live and you need to calm down. And I was kind of like, oh my gosh, like, what am I supposed to do? I have a tie, so like any sane person would do, I made another poll and I did long live versus you need to calm down and you need to calm down one by quite a bit it was kind of close but it's kind of leaning way more on the you need to calm down side which i was perfectly fine with because you know it's a new song and it's always good to kind of promote that especially when you can do it with an art project so that's kind of what i chose and then i've actually got sitting here my concept sketches that i had posted on twitter asking them which one they would like more and i did option a or option b and so these are what the concept sketches look like. Very rough, not very pretty, but they kind of got the job done. And as you can tell, we chose option A. And I am very happy with that because I think the jacket turned out amazing. I love this one. I was kind of worried at first that I wasn't going to like it. Because you know when you start a new project, you're in the first steps of it. And you're kind of like, oh my gosh, is this going to turn out? Or is this going to look terrible? I just wish I wouldn't waste all the time on that. But... As I added the more finishing touches to it, the more I fell in love with it, and I really do love this jacket. I am obsessed with it, but I'm also kind of thinking about selling this one if anyone would be interested, and because I really don't need three painted denim jackets, and especially not one from that from the same era that I had before. I can't speak, as you can tell, and I feel like I've been recording all day. But anyway, so. I kind of just wanted to do a retro vibe and kind of go along with the theme of the singles cover where it had the font that was like bright kind of peachy letters and then um, had like the corally kind of shading underneath it and I think that looks super cool and I love the colors for it. I love the pops of blue and of course I had to add something a little shimmery so I added a little gold arrow on the back along with some stars and I really do... But my biggest issue was that the jacket had already come with some pre-done patches on it, and which is actually why I was okay with painting this. And I just never wore the jacket because I was always so worried about matching the colors to what I was wearing, and I just didn't have to do that with the denim jacket. And uh, so that's what I did. I kind of, you know, showed them pictures of the jacket beforehand so that they kind of had an idea of what I was going for. But I'm sorry if you can hear my brother in the background, he's playing video games, and you know how video games can get. So, anyway, I just, I love it. I really do. And I know this video has kind of been all over the place, but it was kind of last minute. But I kind of hope that you guys learned something, maybe. And maybe I've inspired you to kind of paint a denim jacket. You just have to go to the thrift store and pick one up for cheap. They can be literally as cheap as, like, a dollar. It's crazy what people leave behind. And... If you do, please feel free to share them with me on Twitter. I am at HeidiesRep13, and I would just love to see them. So that kind of concludes our video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this, and I'm sorry for the last minute video. I know it's probably not as great as I want it to be, but hopefully you kind of enjoyed watching it. And I probably rambled a lot in this, but I just really wanted to make sure I shared everything with you that I wanted to. And I probably repeated things, but what can you say? I do that even when I'm talking to someone in real life. So 
I don't expect it to be any different on here. But thank you guys so much for watching again. Appreciate you guys, especially you guys who have clicked the subscribe button and left comments and likes and everything on my previous videos. It means a lot for me. I know I'm not a big channel and I'm literally just sitting in my room filming this on my phone and just trying to do what I love and share some of that with you guys. So if you have any suggestions of what you would like to see next, please leave them in the comments below and I'll see you all later. Love you so much. Bye.